In this video, we will obtain aniline by reducing nitrobenzene. We will reduce it with sodium chloride and iron powder, separate it with steam distillation, and purify converting it into its hydrochloride. This method is three times cheaper than reducing nitrobenzene with tin metal. Tin is more expensive than iron. Aniline is the most important aromatic amine. It is used to make paints, agricultural chemicals, antioxidants, and explosives. Aniline is toxic when swallowed, inhaled, or in contact with the skin. A blue discoloration of the skin similar to cyanide poisoning can be caused by high or prolonged exposure. Exercise caution and avoid inhaling aniline fumes. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. To obtain aniline by reducing nitrobenzene with iron and sodium chloride, we operate as follows. In a 500 ml flask, we added 43 grams of nitrobenzene and diluted it with 250 ml of methanol. In another flask, we dilute 70 grams of sodium chloride with 210 ml of water. A 1000 ml flask is used to mix the two solutions. If the sodium chloride is not diluted, we pour it into the flask until everything is squeezed into it. We prepare 10 vials with 10 grams of iron powder each, and we will add a total of 100 grams of iron. Place the mixture in the flask and stir it with a magnetic stirrer, then put a solids addition funnel and a 200 degree thermometer. With stirring, we will add the iron vials with a difference of one minute. We observe that upon completion of the addition of iron, the color of the reaction is brown. Heat at reflux for a duration of 7 hours. Make sure the fume hood is connected to the condenser outlet. After 7 hours of reflux, the color of the mixture has a red hue. Allow it to cool and separate the insoluble iron through filtration. Clean the iron powder using 100 milliliters of methanol. Iron is pyrophoric when dry, so it needs to be kept moist and dispose of it. Set up steam distillation equipment with a 1000 ml flask. Pour the filtrate into the flask and add a solution of 15 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 ml of water. As much methanol as possible can be extracted by vacuum distillation. After distilling all the possible methanol, we connect the steam and distill. In this part, you can see how aniline passes through as an orange oil. We distill 200 milliliters and allow it to cool. The aniline that has stuck to the condenser was removed by distilling with about 50 milliliters of ether in the 1000 milliliters flask. The aniline that has been dissolved in the ether is visible floating in the aqueous phase. Once the distillation is finished, we add 15 grams of sodium chloride to the distilled mixture and stir it to dissolve it. Use a separating funnel to separate the aqueous phase from the organic phase. Wash the liquid phase with 50 milliliters of ether. Join the organic phases that contain aniline. To separate aniline from other secondary compounds, we will convert it into its hydrochloride with hydrochloric acid. Aniline has a solubility of 36 grams per liter. Aniline behaves like a base that, upon contact with hydrochloric acid, forms aniline hydrochloride, which has a solubility of 1070 gram per liter. Prepare diluted hydrochloric acid by dissolving 30 milliliters of 35% acid in 50 milliliters of water. The organic ether phase was cleaned by using 2 by 40 milliliters of diluted hydrochloric acid in a separating funnel, and each extraction was shaken for 5 minutes. Separate the aqueous phase and place it in a container immersed in an ice bath. Slowly add 29 grams of sodium hydroxide to separate the aniline. We must check the pH using indicator paper. It is necessary for the pH to be alkaline. At this point, it is observed that the aniline has separated from the water in the form of oil. 
separated the aniline by using a funnel to separate the phases. We washed the aqueous phase twice with 25 milliliters of ether. We combine all the organic phases, aniline and the two ether extractions. The organic phase dried with solid sodium hydroxide. Use a filter to separate the drying solid and evaporate the ether in a hot water bath. We stop the distillation of the ether before it has all evaporated and put it in a beaker. Evaporate the residual ether and weigh the result by heating the plate at 60 degrees for a few minutes. The yield was 68%.